we're here to talk to you about Sarah. Let me show you a picture. Do you know Sarah? I don't know. Okay. Sarah went missing. Um, I'll show you some pictures of, of, of her on the day. Sarah went missing um, on Wednesday. And her parents, obviously, and her family are really worried about her now. The inquiry that's been conducted so far has led us to come and speak to you about it and to see what we, what we know about Sarah, okay? Because sure. she's yeah. been missing for a while well, I'm, now. I'm sat in handcuffs and I know her. So you must have something to say that I, I know her. Well, as I said, you've been arrested on suspicion of kidnap. And we believe that you've been involved in her disappearance and taking her away from her family. Okay. So we are trying to find her. Obviously, everybody is very worried about her. She's got, you know, parents. She's got, a, a, you know, she's siblings. She's got a boyfriend. There's a lot of people that care about her. Um, sure. If you've seen sure. her on the news, there's a number of people that, you know, reach out about her. Sure. Out there looking for her every day, and she's missing. And... Okay. Um. Well, I am. Um in financial um, and I've been um, lent on by um, I don't know who they are they're a, a group, a gang, whatever um, and they told me why I need to go and pick up girls and give them to them so um, I said what's happening um, and it then came through that they were going to harm my family, take them away, and they'll use them instead. Um, but at that point, I had no option to try and find somebody. So I don't. Um, there's, there's a couple of names. I was told a place to um, take her. That's it. That's all. That is all I know. And to this group of people. Uh, was between sort of Lennon Maidstone area that I got to off. Um, I still don't know. I, I, I don't know. They they just I, I just um, parked my car up and then the van come up behind me, flashed me, and they all jumped out. Um, and then they, they, they took this girl. Uh, um, they said. They said. You've done good, and I don't know whether my family's going to be alright still. But they they threatened they threatened to take my family away from me. So at that point, I'm I'm doing what I can to protect my family. That's it. So all I know is that it was a roundabout. I, we could try there now. I could show you, but I, 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 roughly I don't know. Lenham Maidstone area at all. If you um, did it on Google, <coughs> if you did it on Google Map, like Google uh, Earth, if you drove it, would right. you to do it? I drove from Ashford to Maidstone. Yeah. Um, opened my door, opened that door, um, pushed me out against the front of the car, took the girl, drove off. That's it. They said we'll be in touch. So I'm here. I'm off work with stress because I'm here to protect my family. I want to be here 24-7 for my family. They come from my family. I've got nothing myself. I've got no choice. Honestly. How are they telling you to be there? They'll be there. How is it they're thieving those directions? Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. They'll, they'll come outside. So they'll be outside here. Yeah. And then they'll say, why well, are you going to be in Folkestone at this time? Or you're going to be in Ashford at this time. 